During the Outer Rim sieges in the final months of the Clone Wars, ki -Edi mundi and his clone troopers were sent to the rainy, harsh world of Mygeta to continue the Republic's massive effort to push the Separatists away from the core worlds of the galaxy. While meditating during the battle, ki -Edi mundi experiences a heartbreaking flashback to when his fellow Jedi, Rivi Anu, threw herself in front of a Star Destroyer in hopes of using the Force to stop it from killing both her clone troopers and ki -Edi mundi himself. Before we get into it, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more awesome Star Wars lore content. So, the story begins on the cold planet of Mygido, where ki -Edi mundi and his clone troopers are at their base camp, preparing for the upcoming battle. Master Mundi himself is sitting inside of his tent, deeply meditating in the Force and extending himself out to feel the cosmic force. As this is happening, icy cold droplets of water slowly form and drop down onto the Syrian's head, one by one, until his mind is thrown far back into the war to a very tragic and traumatic experience. As the flashback begins, Kieri Mundi is meditating on a solid platform on a distant grassy world before being interrupted by his fellow Jedi, Rivi Anu, who warns him that he has water dripping on his head. Kieri Mundi already knows this and tells her that it helps him to focus on his meditation in these dark days and that each drop of water reminds him of the clone troopers who bravely gave their lives for him in combat. He then tells her, you did not come to discuss my meditations, something troubles you. To which she responds, telling him that the freshly assigned young Jedi are scared about going into battle. Master Mundi understands their worry and regrets that he could not give them any more training, but is very confident that all of the young Jedi are very worthy of fighting. He then says that he would never put his fellow Jedi or his clone troopers in danger if he didn't believe that they were capable of completing the task. Kieri Mundi then asks Rivianu if she is scared, and she doesn't answer, but the wise old master understands her and says, it's okay, I'm scared too. And at the end of the story, make sure you let me know where Rivianu ranks in your top Jedi and what you think of her actions. Let me know if she cracks your top 10. Following this, a loud screech is heard before a blistering crash erupts into a fireball in a nearby field scaring away the local wildlife and signaling the beginning of the battle. ki -Edi mundi Rivianu and the young Jedi commanders lead their clone troopers fiercely into battle, tearing up the battle droids with their lightsabers. In the heat of combat, Master Mundi orders Rivianu to secure the west flank, causing her to run ahead of the main group and into heavy blaster fire. While doing this however, Rivianu is cut down by a flurry of incoming blaster fire, sending her tumbling to the ground with her lightsaber soon following. Only moments later, ki -Edi mundi receives more horrible news. He is informed that their Republic command cruiser has been taken down by the Separatist forces, sending it plunging rapidly towards the rocky surface of the planet. Master Mundi very quickly realizes that once the ship crashes onto the battlefield, it will kill every single one of his clone troopers along with himself and the other Jedi. This almost sends the experienced master into a deep panic, but he uses his wisdom to stay composed and orders that all of his men fall back immediately. While his clone troopers are storming away from the battlefield with incredible speed, ki -Edi mundi rushes back onto the battlefield, screaming at Rivianu to hurry or she will be killed as the ship falls. With tears streaming down her face and in deep pain, Rivianu raises her head to see the scorching Star Destroyer quickly roaring towards her. ki -Edi mundi then continues racing towards Rivianu, but she firmly warns the Jedi Master to get back to safety with his men before courageously offering to hold the ship back, giving the rest of the clone troopers enough time to escape. Master Mundi warns Rivianu that she is not strong enough to pull this brave action off, but she refuses to listen, telling him to get himself and the clone troopers back to safety for one final time. Rivianu then jumps rapidly, planting her knees into the hard, rocky surface of the planet before lifting her arm in the force with tremendous power, using all of her strength. Because of her brutal injury from earlier, she is unable to lift the other arm to assist in holding back the Star Destroyer. Rivianu then channels all of her strength, all of her training and the force itself into the flaming Star Destroyer above her, holding the massive ship up by the tiniest of amounts. If she has even a single slip in concentration, she will be instantly crushed by her own command vessel. As the vessel hovers above the surface of the ground, ki -Edi mundi and his men continue to rush away from the scene of destruction as the clone troopers look on in horror, wondering if the young Jedi will make it out alive. Knowing that his fellow Jedi likely won't make it out of the situation alive, ki -Edi mundi solemnly whispers to himself, May the Force be with you, Rivianu, before continuing his retreat. Let me know down below if you can forgive the Jedi Order for sending young children and teenagers into battle as soldiers on the front lines of the most brutal war the Republic had seen in a very long time. Or do you think it was completely justified for the Jedi Order to use the Jedi as generals in the war? Let me know down below. 
Rivianu then continues to channel her strength, holding the Star Destroyer up, but unfortunately her resilience soon runs out, sending the flaming ship crashing down into the surface, killing the young Jedi Knight in an instant, and sending a massive red and yellow burst of fire roaring from the area. This is of course absolutely devastating to Master Mundi and all of the men who fought alongside Rivianu throughout the war, but they are unable to stick around for too long as the rubble and raging inferno rush towards their location, putting them in significant danger. Following this, Master Mundi stands proud of his fellow Jedi's brave sacrifice and tells his men that this battle is over and that the Republic have triumphed over the evil scourge of the Separatists. Jedi Knight Eon then says in shock, Master, Rivianu saved us. In response, Mundi says, Yes, Eon, greater love has no being than to lay down their life for a friend. Explaining to the inexperienced Jedi that the greatest way to show one's love is to face grave sacrifice, sometimes even the sacrifice of oneself. Mundi then goes on to explain that Rivianu is now one with the Living Force and that it will make him extremely proud to one day join her as just another part of the wider Force. As Kiyari Mundi and the other Jedi stand in silence paying their respects to the fallen Rivianu, they are quickly interrupted by Commander Bakara, who informs them that the 21st Nova Corps is being summoned to Maegido immediately, where a battle is looming and set to spark off at any moment. This of course is where Kiyari Mundi is right now, as he is having this flashback, so just hearing the word Maegido snaps him back into reality, where of course the water is still dripping on his head inside of the tent. Each of these drops reminds him of the brave and tragic sacrifice of Rivianu, making Mundi realise the true toll that the war has taken on both himself and the countless others who are scarred by it. And to end the story, Kiedi Mundi looks down at the cold drop of rain on his palm, smiling to himself as he knows that Rivianu has transcended into the Force now and is forever watching over him. Finally, Commander Bakara enters his general's tent, informing him that all of his men are ready to be deployed onto the battlefield and to engage in the fight of their lives against the Separatist Alliance. General Mundi then says, Very good, Commander Bakara, before exiting his tent and beginning the brutal battle of Maegido, where he believes the Republic can finally put the Clone Wars to rest once and for all and end all of the pain, suffering and loss that it has brought. Unfortunately, he was very wrong about this hope. So that is the story of the Jedi who bravely threw herself in front of a Star Destroyer to save the lives of her clone troopers and Kiadi Mundi. Such a tragic story and an incredibly brave and heroic action from such a young and inexperienced Jedi. And with the channel about to hit 100k subs, I have partnered up with Owner Saber, where you can pick up extremely realistic lightsaber blades of all colors. These sabers have sensitive swing technology, which allows them to react to every movement you make with the blade. On top of that, they are fully combat ready, so you can have fights with your friends. Thanks so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.